Y'all, my line right here. We about to start off the fish right here. Is he on there? Yeah, he's still on it. We got him, man. Fish number one. We starting out this video with a bang, buddy. Let's see what we got here. You can see I'm in a very narrow creek. This is a small creek, but has a surprising amount of depth to it. It's like six to eight feet deep over here along the tree line. And I've set up in here just curious to see what's what's in here today. The water level is up about a, I don't know, foot, foot and a half. And I'm curious to see what all's moving. In this creek, it's muddy. We got something here right away. I didn't film an intro when I got out here because honestly, I wasn't sure if I was going to catch anything or not. But this is one of them places where I'm going to be able to hide from people today because ain't nobody coming up in here where I'm at. I mean, nobody. Oh, that's a carp. That's a common carp right there. I'll show you my bait and rig and all that when I get him up here to the kayak. He still ain't done, apparently. He's wanting to pull a little bit more. He's trying to make the most of his camera time. I don't know what all we're going to catch in this creek today. We'll uh, put in a few hours here and just see what moves through. The nice thing about fishing a shallow creek like this, or a narrow creek, I should say, and get my net ready for him here. But the nice thing about it is I can set up in such a way that fish have to swim through my baits to work up and down through here. Like they, they can't go around me. So that'll hopefully help us catch whatever works through. Oh. Did that rod right there just get hit while I was having this fish flopping around? There is one on right here, y'all. We're doubled. We're doubled, by gosh. <laughs> I thought my rod got hit. I was bent over fooling with this fish. I thought this one got hit. We'll get this one up here close to the kayak and then we'll get the hook out this one and get him going. Man, how awesome is that? Just a double. Boom, boom. What is this right here, man? He's he's coming at me, whatever he is. Oh, that's, a, that's a smaller, that's a smaller common right there. That actually may be the smallest one I've ever caught on rod and reel. You know, they don't get them that small. Most of the time, they all three, five pounds or bigger. All right, well, let me uh, let me do something with this rod here. This fish is wanting to go wherever he wants to go. He's on he's on his own flight plan today. Well, oh, my camera's crooked. That's all right. Fish number one here, y'all. A smaller common. The one on the other line there is even smaller than this one, but that's awesome to get a double that quick, man. Just boom, boom like that. And, you know, you can see this creek here. I'll give you a, like a panoramic here when I get this one landed. But, I mean, this is a small creek. Feeds into the main river channel. Very narrow. I got another one on right here behind me, y'all. Let me get the camera here. I got, the, I got one off my back of the kayak here. This The front of the kayak i had two rods going off because this is so narrow i knew i couldn't do three but i threw one off behind me and i'll be doggone if we ain't got one on here before i can get the second one landed man buddy this creek is loaded i guess oh this is a cat here yeah this is a cat this is a blue that's a blue cat. All right. Well, we got some carp and some catfish in here, apparently. Let's, uh, <laughs> let me set this one over here in the back rod holder. We'll get the other one landed. We got some stuff to do here, y'all. We ain't got a bait in the water right now. There we go, y'all. Very small common. This may be one of the smallest that I've ever caught on rod and reel. It's certainly comparable to this one here. Small enough you could use it for cut bait for some catfish. These things, the bigger ones, are just scale and bones. You need a chainsaw to cut through them. But these smaller ones, usually that size right there, and smaller, I typically get them in a cast net when I'm throwing for shad. Don't get them on rod and reel. So anyway, we got this. We got this cat going off over here. We're gonna get him landed. 
I got some. Let me get the camera here, y'all. You gotta see this. We got baby duckies going by. <laughs> it's a mama and about 15 duckies. She must have hatched every egg she put out. That's awesome. Who don't like baby duckies? If you don't like baby duckies, you're an American. That's just the way it is. <laughs> there we got that one undone. Oh, small blue catcher. Look at his belly, though. He got mud all up over him there. You need to go take a bath, fish. But you a fat thing for your size. You got a belly on you to be just a small dinkity doodah. How about that, y'all? Man, three fish just wham and just... Again, I'm going to show you this creek here. Very narrow. I mean, it's probably, what, 20, 30 feet wide through here. Real shallow right here. I mean, this grass is just inches deep. But then it goes off real sharp to about six to eight feet deep and makes its way back in through here. So I just, I had two rods out. I had one kind of here, you know, a foot or so deep. Another one over in the deep part. And then I threw a... a third rod here off the back of the kayak behind me and man just bam they're all on and i didn't film an intro nothing because i wasn't sure you know coming out here a place like this i mean i'm set up in such a way that fish have to come through me to go up and down through here but you know would anything come through i don't know but by gosh they're here and so i'm gonna get some baits got if i get i was flapping my gums we're holding up progress here I'm going to quit talking. We'll cast some baits back out and see what else we can get. I'll show you my rigs, my setups, and all that here as we get everything cast back out. So I've got a couple different rigs here today. This one here is a method feeder. I've got links to these down in my video description here. Very cheap on Amazon. That runs down to a number four sized Gamagatsu G-Cart hook. And I've just got a single piece of plastic corn on there. That one, That one's pink in color. No hair rig, just the plastic corn directly on the Gamagatsu G-Carp hook. My other rig is a hair rig with a couple pieces of corn. And then I've, I've actually got another rod here. My, my back rod had a, a piece of corn just on a hook. No hair rig. So I'm going to cast this out. We're putting this pack bait around the method feeder. This is breadcrumbs, sweet corn, cream style corn and strawberry jello all mixed up makes this dough like concoction and when i cast this out over here i'm going to be making a chum pile basically every time i cast out and i'm going to try to kind of hit the same area here but every time that hits the water those breadcrumbs they disperse the corn disperses and as fish swim along they find that chum pile and with the water here being so narrow it don't matter which direction they're coming swimming along the shoreline over here up the middle they are going to get the, the pick up on the scent of my baits and be able to come find them so places like this that are real narrow it's kind of easy fishing if there are some fish in the area and so there seems to be some so far now here's my other rig you can see here this is a number six size hook with a hair rig and i've got a couple pieces of plastic corn on it i'm going to put the pack bait on this feeder and we'll cast it out right over here along the shoreline all right let's get this one cast out and that one there is probably going to be a foot or so maybe two feet deep where that bait's at this rig that the catfish eat same as the first one just a single piece of plastic corn this one here happens to be uh, neon green in color but i've just got that on a number four gamagatsu g carp hook we'll put some pack bait on we'll sling this one out behind the kayak and we'll have everything set again we're ready for some more fish to come through that was awesome man oh this rod the one that was up shallow oh he's making a run man tight down a little bit i don't want him getting over in them trees I'm assuming this is a carp because they make these hard runs. It's a challenge when you've got trees and stuff like all on this other side of the creek over here. This left side's not too bad if they stay in this area, but they get over there, the other side, they're going to have us wrapped up and everything. <laughs> this is awesome, man. I love getting back in these places like this. It's just peaceful and quiet 
and secluded where I don't have to be around anybody. And a lot of places like this just ain't got no fish in them. But by gosh, this one does. Oh boy, look at him jumping around. <laughs> this one's mad at it, man. <laughs> He's got some moves this morning. Back over here, fish. Should be trying to go behind me now. We got another line back there, doggone it. Get on over here. You're going to get landed on this left side whether you want to be or not. He says he'll go wherever he dang well pleases. Get in that net there, buddy. All right, we got him. It's another one there with the hair rig. Two pieces of plastic corn on that one. There he is, another smaller common right there. This one here, though, man, he had some acrobatic moves, didn't he? he come flying up right here when he got... Once he realized he was on camera, he knew. He said, that's my moment. This is my time to shine. And kudos to him for taking advantage of it, man. He went after it. You get your opportunity in life, people, you got to grab it by the cojones. And that fish just did. I hope it works out for him. Well, I'm going to throw some more pack bait. Again, that one was the shallowest bait I've got out. It was one to two foot deep there. But, uh, you know, yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter how deep they are coming through this creek. We got them covered. Y'all, y'all, we got one. Oh, uh, we had one going off behind us. Let's see if he still got it. Oh, he does. He does. He still got it. I was reeling in this other rod up here to rebait. Something hit it and didn't hook up. And I, gosh, I heard this one going off behind me. I thought he had dropped it, but no, he still got it. <laughs> this is awesome, y'all. I bet you this is another carp, man, the way he's fighting. A small cat ain't gonna fight like this. Yeah, I see him over there. It is a carp. I seen the orange on his tail. <laughs> there is some fish in this creek, man. We ain't got nothing super big yet, but to be set up no longer than I have and get this amount of action, very encouraging. I love it, man. I, I love doing this. This style of fishing's fun, especially in places like I'm at today. This carp ain't having much fun though, is he? He says, this ain't fun at all. He said, he got a hook in his jaw. He thought he found him the first piece of green corn he'd ever seen in his life. He had a dang hook in it. In you go, carp, in you go. Oh, oh, right here, by gosh, I ain't got this in that hook. This one's going down. We, we doubled. Oh, he's making a run for them trees over there. Can we steer him out? There you go. There you go. Let me just go ahead too while I'm at it and reel this one in. I was in the process of reeling it in when that one behind me hit. <laughs> we, we got a double. If that other one that hit that rod initially had hooked up, we'd have a triple right now. Man, that's awesome. This one here in my hand feels a little better. He's either a better quality fish or he's fighting above his weight class. Could go either way. These dang carp fight so hard. I assume it's a carp, who knows? We'll see here. We'll see here directly if I can make some progress up on him or if he wants to swim that hard toward me instead of away from me. There's some action in this creek. You know, you see places like this sometimes, these smaller creeks, and you think, well, they probably probably ain't much in there, but boy, some of them have fish in them. I imagine this water is up today from the main channel, but if it wasn't, this creek would probably have a little water movement in it, and it probably Probably had more oxygen in it, I would say, from the water movement. 
Yeah, this is a better one here in my hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him over here and get him back in the rod holder. We'll get rid of this one in the kayak and then we'll, we'll land him. I don't want two of them in the floor of my kayak. <laughs> well, here's this old devil. He ain't getting no front camera time. His friend stole his thunder. Oh, now he's mad about it too, by gosh. He said he ain't getting his front camera time. He's just gonna go ahead and get the heck on out of here. That ain't what he came for. He came for front camera time today. Let's get our net here, by gosh, and see what we can do with this one. This is the biggest one of the morning so far right here. This is a nice one. Get in there, buddy. Look at that, y'all. Nice carp for a creek that's 20 foot wide here at the most. Oh, oh. <laughs> that fish wasn't having it either, man. That's awesome, man. A lot of action real quick here. I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch the back rod up there. I know we just caught that one on the back rod, but I think I'm just gonna focus on these two rods in front of me. Because I can cover any fish that's coming from behind me here this way, they still gonna run into my baits eventually when they go through. So I think I'm gonna go down to two rods and if the bite slows down, I can throw the other one out. But much easier here focusing in front of me than having to reach around behind me to get the other. I just can't, I can't cast out three rods in this tight of space in front of me and not get everything all tangled up. Look up there y'all, they found me. Jag on plane, flew over and found where I was at. I just thought I was hit. I was secluded back here. Nobody was gonna find me. They sent up the search and rescue and by gosh, GPS coordinates probably all over the internet by now. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's got it then. He's got it then, buddy. Let's reel us in another one. I know it's been, for video purposes, a few seconds. But I have been sitting out here a while now, y'all. Probably every bit of an hour with just nothing happening. I was just sitting here thinking about putting that third rod back out just to try to get something going. I, I thought with as many fish as I got so quickly that it was just... There was just a bunch of fish here, but I think maybe what happened was there was a few fish here. We caught them, sore lift them, and then they moved on, you know, and, and now we just sat here waiting for something to, else to swim along. So this in here swam either over or under. I guess he went over my other line, didn't get in it. But I do think once I get this in, I'm going to go ahead and just put that third rod back out since the, since the bite has definitely slowed for for whatever reason, who knows why. That's another That's another smaller common right here. This is another one that ate the bait up shallow, ate the hair rig with the yellow corn. There we go. Let's land him here. Where you been, fish? Lord, you've been a long time coming now. I was about tired of waiting on you. Let's hold this thing up here, man. He's an ornery thing. He's been flopping around something terrible here in the floor. He's dark though, he's like a dark orange. You got a tan fish. You must have been up in the sun or something. <laughs> Go on now, the old thing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just put out this third rod here behind me just to, just to try to get some more action. I, I really thought, man, there must just be a lot of fish right here, you know, the way it was going there first thing. But after sitting here as long as I have now with not a tap, nothing going on. I think that we probably just got the fish that were kind of in this area and they've moved on. We probably, you know, after we sore lip them here, they probably get out of this area, I would assume. And now we're just sitting here waiting for something else to come through. So I'm gonna put out another rod and uh, hopefully we'll get another pod of them just swim through and it'll be on again. Oh, back rod. The back rods went off again, let's stand up and get him. I've had another break here after refreshing my other bait and casting this one back out, but by gosh, it's a bite. I think it's a cat. I think we've got another little kitty cat here. Don't know if it's a blue or a channel. Looks like a blue potentially. Got him a bite of plastic corn. 
couldn't resist it. I was on the, the neon green again. Old catfish. I wasn't trying to catch you today, kitty. Not today. Maybe in a couple days, but not today, doggone you. There he went. Quick release on him. All right. That made it easy. Right there he goes. He's waving as he goes off there. <laughs> not before sliming up all my line, though. There you go, catfish. I wasn't trying to get him today. You know what slime off there. Well, let's rebate and cast back out, and hopefully a carp or a, a buffalo will come along. We've got cats, we've got carp. What we need now is a buffalo to get the trifecta. Back out it goes. I about casted it. Wrong direction and too far. I was trying to get this one up here, hopefully two to three feet deep, kind of in that range. Either way, it's back out. We got it in the rod holder. We're fishing again. We gotta run. We gotta run on here. Now that was taken off. Yeah, the bite has slowed down, y'all, but we got us another one. He just turned. <laughs> he just turned. I felt him. I thought he'd give. He's coming back at me for a second. This one's got some wee wee and vinegar right here. He's full of energy, man. He must have just, he woke up late this morning. And by gosh, he's rested up. He's ready to go now. <laughs> oh, he's going over my other line. Let's hope he goes over it and not in it. Can we can we be so lucky again? Playing with fire, having this many lines out here. Tied of an area, but by gosh, I think we've lucked out again. This feels like a pretty good one too. Another one on that shallower, shallower bait with the hair rig. One over there in the in the deeper part just hasn't hasn't had a lot going for it today. But usually when I move through creeks and stuff, I I see carp kind of in the shallows, you know, one to two feet deep. And I don't mean that they're not in the deeper parts. I just can't can't see that deep down in the water, especially when it's muddy like it is today. But I know for a fact when you move through and you see them up in one to two foot, that's a that's a good good area to throw baits at. This one here ain't gonna turn out to be as big as he fought, man. He's <laughs> he fought above his weight class. Let's get him in the net. There we go, another carp. I know y'all, I mean these videos, they just kind of flow together you know everything looks like i'm just catching fish one after another the way it's pieced together but it's the bite has really slowed down i'm having a long period of time let's get this back in the water but just long periods of time now between the bites and uh, you know best i can figure either like i mentioned earlier there was some fish in this area and when the pack bait hit the water and kind of got chummed up there, those fish bit and we caught them, sore lipped them, they've moved on. Other thing too is maybe we just had a, a morning bite. I got out here a little after sunrise and got set up and now I'm in the shade here where I'm at because the sun's coming up through the trees here, but it is getting later in the morning. So maybe it was kind of a morning bite going on, but I'm gonna, probably gonna fish another hour or so and just see if we get some more fish working through here. It's a it's a comfortable day sitting here in the shade even though it's supposed to be hot today sitting here in the shade right now it's not too bad so i'm just gonna keep kicking back relaxing and wait on the next fish to come through oh buddy here we go again another good run right here y'all another good run up on the shallow bait again <laughs> don't matter to me what they hit i just want to catch the daggone things <laughs> he, he nailed it man took off and bolted but now he's he's kind of doing his thing out there right in front of us there he goes again tighten down a little bit more on him here I do not like tightening down hard on the drag on these carp because they'll pull that hook out with their mouths being so so fleshy and soft but 
I also don't want them getting over here and wrapping me up in anything that's falling off in the water over here under these trees either. You kind of danged if you do and danged if you don't, but so far we've, we've been pretty lucky with the fish that we've got. That's another one here that's kind of on the smaller side, but don't tell him that the way he's pulling. <laughs> These things fight so hard for their size, man. They're just little torpedoes out there. Nothing super big in this creek today, though, but man, it's been several bites now. Even with the bite having slowed in the last hour and a half, two hours or so, it's still been an awesome morning. Come on in, carp. We got him. There he is. There he is, man. Another carp. Heck of a run. <laughs> Heck of a run. What do you think about it, carp? You want to tell these people anything? What's your handle there on the Instagram or the TikTok? He ain't got no cell phone, people. He ain't got no cell phone. He's got one of them old rotary dial-up phones. That's what level these carp are still on. They're like in the 1980s. I grew up with them rotary phones. I can still remember it. These kids today probably couldn't, probably couldn't figure out how to operate one in an antique store if they saw one. Well, folks, it's that time for me. I've had another long stretch here with nothing going on, no more bites, but hey, got several fish this morning. Nothing real big, but I got me some action out here. Had this beautiful creek here to myself, and most importantly, didn't see anybody. I was able to fish on a Saturday, which is the busiest pleasure boater day of the week out here where I live, and didn't see another soul. It's been awesome. So anyway, y'all, I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. See you next time.